Hello and so welcomes back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Mass Effect. Where we last left off, we were doing a companion mission with Rex, helping him retrieve his ancestor's armor, which had been taken by a Turian, who made his money by basically selling Krogan artifacts. So, we dealt with that Turian, he was actually um, amongst the hidden base. Not sure he was really a bad guy, and not as sure he was selling Krogan artifacts, but he was a guy making a living. Maybe unscrupulous, but did he deserve to die? Well, Rex certainly thought so, and we well, well went along and helped. Ugh, find my words. Right, but now we are on our way to find Dr. Celeron for Garrus. In the Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. Hmm, I don't think I've been to the Capital of Verge yet. I may be wrong. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Is it up here? Ah. The MSV Fidel. Private owner, Dr. R. Hart. Okay. Well, first things first, do what we normally do since this is a new system. Just go around the asteroid. Oh, hello. Asteroid belt. I saw the little twinkle there. Another heavy metal. Anything else? Let's check this planet out. We'll just survey the planets if we can. Oh, oh yeah, that's the rocky asteroid. I was going to say, what the hell's that? Oh, I guess we can't survey any of the planets in orbiting this. What is that, like a white dwarf? I forgot what the suns are classified as sometimes. But anyhow, that, this is why we're here. The Fideli is a Kaloon class modular conveyor of human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has very, several biological research modules attached. Of course, we want Garrus in our party. And we'll take Tally. Should we take Tally? We're going to need her expertise, so yeah. Oh, well, Im immediately someone's hostile. We can see them in the distance. Let's, um, make sure everyone's equipped. Yeah, Garrus doesn't have hard decryption unlock. Oh no! Average. Ah, hard decryption, yeah. I'm going to just finish off your sniper rifles. Tally. One more level and you will have maxed out your shotguns. Okay, um, let's make sure everyone's got the right weapons selected. Okay. Let's do another quick save since we played with everyone's talents once again. Great, this sort of thing again. Here, these maze. Ooh. Hi. Well, that's not ominous at all, is it? Oh, great. He's like the Thorian creepers. I'll leave our way with... If they were human or whatever race they may have been, hopefully we put them out of their misery. <clears throat> uh, 
excuse me. Two moments there. Sorry about that. Just choking a little. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. Take cover! And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Celion's medical equipment was stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a little few dark red. But his work has ended here. What, I don't know what he was running towards. It probably wasn't anything good. But we dealt with him in the end anyway. Ooh. What's in these secure lockers? Goodies? Indeed. And this one. Hey, we leveled up. Let's get over to the cockpit and see if there's anything there. Doesn't seem to be. Oh well. So, ah, we're back down to Wonix. Wonix uh, skill point to play with. Right, what were we doing? We were playing with our barrier, weren't we? Do I want to play with my barrier still? I'm tempted. It would be good to have. I was tempted to go into shotguns, but... Yeah, let's keep it with the barrier. Garrus, you finished your sniper rifles now. Dampening? Enemies can use biotech and tech abilities. Biotic or tech abilities, I should say. Yeah. And there you go. Master Carnage. Tally is deadly with a shotgun. <laughs> Thought it was something to maybe open there, but it was probably just another explosive um, item that you can interact with. And back on board of Normandy. Let's go speak to Garrus, shall we? See how he feels about the situation. At ease.
Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Aaron. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape, or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. I'll try and get Garrus to listen to reason. He's a good lad. I like Garrus. I think I say that often enough, but it's true. He's a really interesting character. understand his concerns. The Council have not been very cooperative with us. Uh, right, as in another short, short episode. But we'll end this video here, and when we come back, I think we'll... Yeah, we'll go to the Citadel. I'm not sure there'll be anything new there, but it might be worthwhile popping our head in any way and having a small run around to see if there's anyone new to talk to after we finished our objectives on Ferros. And then, of course, we will be exploring the galaxy once again. I see there's various side missions we still have available, and there is more to still unlock. But, um, yeah, it'd be good to pop back into the uh, the Serpent Nebula. And maybe see if the markets on the Citadel have anything new to purchase as well. Now that, now that we have a few credits to um, spend. So, yeah, feel free to comment below. This, of course, has been Antwerp Play Mass Effect. And I will see you for more in the next video. Until then, bye-bye now.